In the Inventor Robotics Kit, you'll find 12 of these large yellow tubs. These are the Spike Prime Robotics Kit from LEGO Education. Spike Prime is a modular STEM kit that you can use to learn to build, design, and code a great variety of STEM projects. There are some fantastic features in this kit that allow students to build a greater variety of designs. Let's go through an unboxing and setup for class. First, the lid is great for a building platform and it will save any of those 528 pieces from going missing. We'd recommend building on top of this lid. There's also a card with one side having a visual of the parts and quantity. There are two lift trays that can be lifted out individually to reduce the need for desk space. Let's look at the main components of the Spike Prime. There's the hub, the brains of the Spike unit. It houses a computer and it has a rechargeable battery, six I.O. ports, a five x five display, a micro USB charge port and buttons on the front. You can block code it or code it with Python. It also has built in access gyro, which is great for detecting how it is moving. Plus it is Bluetooth enabled. There are three sensors in the Spike Prime. There's the distance sensor that gives the ability to detect a change of distance. It has a 200 centimeter range and programmable lights for eyes. There's also a force sensor that allows your robot to detect forces up to 10 newtons. Look out, physics class. It also doubles up as a touch sensor to detect touch, bump or release. There's also a color sensor to give your robot the ability to detect up to eight colors. It also doubles up as a reflected light sensor. The kit also comes with two types of motors, a medium motor and a large motor. The medium motor is faster and the large motor is of course stronger. You can plug any of these sensors and motors into the input output ports, otherwise known as IO ports. There are large frames that you can use to easily snap your projects together. These Technic base plates are great to create on. There's a range of different size gears that you can use to create movable parts and gear boxes. The bricks in this kit come with a cross hole axle, which allows another dimension of design. And there's a unique piece called a biscuit, which is this piece that allows for connecting pins and axle pieces at 90 degrees. There are these little wire clips with cross holes, which are great for storing away or rerouting wires in your design to get the wires out of the way. You have four large wheels that you can easily connect with the cross axle. You can connect these to a motor. The motors allow you to connect the cross axle from either side. On one side with the circular mount is where you can add connectors. You'll notice that the side has markings to assist you with calculating the degrees of turn. The design allows you to easily create builds that can move. There are some default programs that you can use to quickly learn the hardware and what they do. Attach a motor to the hub and control the speed and directions with the left or right arrows. Or attach a force sensor and control the motor. The stronger the force, the faster it rotates. Try a distance sensor. The closer the distance, the faster the motor revolves. Can you figure out what the maximum distance is that you can use with that sensor? Finally, attach the color sensor and test what colors are the slowest and the fastest. Plug them all in and experiment. Knowing the different parts, what they are and how to program them helps meet a key skill in our New South Wales digital technologies outcomes, such as identifying components of digital systems and exploring how data is represented. To code and create your projects, head to the app called Spike. It's preloaded on your laptops that comes with the kit, but it's also available for download on any platform, Windows, Chromebook, iPad, and more. I recommend going to the start page and doing the activities to learn the basics of coding the different components, such as creating an emoji 
on the hub with step one, learning to code the motors and sensors in step two, and finally creating a robot that you can code to move with step three. It's called the hopper. Let's have a closer look at that project. On the right, we have the lessons instructions. Select the right arrow to proceed to the next step. Select build to go through the build steps. Tap on the right arrow for each next step. Choose done when you reach the end and then the right arrow to go to the next stage. You'll have movement code blocks and event code blocks appear and a sample program. To send the code to the Spike Prime Hub, select Connect and follow the steps. Once connected, you can press Play to test your program and Stop to end program. For this hopper project, I will have to change some of the block values to cover the distance I want it to complete, such as this one here that I set up with the colored bricks. Tap on any of the values in white or the drop-down menus. Otherwise, drag and connect the blocks from the left to your program. The shape of the blocks help students understand the order of the code, also known as syntax. Once you've completed the Hopper project, head back to the home page and look at the units. You may have to download these the very first time. The units are structured easiest to hardest. Expand the unit with the chevron to see the build information, intended audience, the lesson plan, and even a promo video. This video is part of a series of support videos all about the kit that you have borrowed. To find the other videos in this series, head to the learning library and visit the kit page for the equipment you've borrowed. You can also find the full list of support videos for all of our kit on the YouTube channel. You can also join us in the Yammer community. If you have any questions or you'd like to ask teachers how they've used the equipment in their classroom, then why not join us on the STEM T4L Facebook community? It's a closed group. You can ask teachers how they've used the equipment and also share the work samples that your students have created.